Squarespace has a really cool feature called product add-ons. This is a great way for you to showcase additional products on an individual product page. However, we can't do a lot to customize this using the editor in Squarespace, but we can customize it with code. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite code tricks for customizing the style of those product add-ons for your Squarespace website. Now, all of the codes I'm about to share with you are available on my blog, and I'll link to that directly underneath this video. But without further ado, let me share my screen so I can teach you exactly how to add these codes to Squarespace and how to customize them to make them uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace looking at an individual product page that has these product add-ons. When you're editing an individual product in Squarespace, select the Selling Tools option, and here you'll be able to edit the product add-ons that are featured on the product page. These product add-ons feature a thumbnail, a title, a price, and this circled plus sign that people can click to add that product add-on to their cart. We're going to customize all of this with code. To add this code to Squarespace, I'm going to navigate to Pages, then I'll select Custom Code and then Custom CSS. If your menu does not look like this, press the forward slash key on your keyboard and just search for your CSS panel to navigate there directly. Now that we're here, I'm going to zoom in on the screen a little bit so you can see the codes that we're going to add and see exactly what these codes will do. The first code that you'll find underneath this video is going to round the thumbnail and the add-on card. I love the consistency of making sure that we have these rounded edges because we have this button at the end here that is going to be a circle with a plus sign. However, if we look at the rest of this website, all of the buttons here don't have rounded edges, neither do the images. So let's go ahead and reverse this with a different code. This code is going to turn that round plus sign button into a perfect square by making the corners a zero border radius, so no curve at all. And again, all of these codes are listed underneath this video. A lot of the sites that I work with like to have more of a minimal style, and sometimes this border around every single add-on item can be a little bit busy. So I've created this code for a simple add-on border. What this does is it removes the border from all of the edges and then adds one for just the bottom of the card. Then for the last product add-on, we go ahead and hide that border there by saying border none. Now, borders are very flexible. This border here says it's one pixel in width, it's solid, and it's this specific color, which happens to match the button that's right here on the page. You can change that to a web safe color name like the word red, change the one to a five if you want it to be thicker. You can even change the solid line from dotted to dashed. You have a lot of options with borders. And again, this code right here is going to place that border in between the add-on items. The style of this site doesn't really work with a dotted red border, so I'm going to go ahead and replace this whole thing with a different code that gives it a solid block background. What we've done here is we removed those default borders completely, and we added a light background behind the product add-ons. This right here is a web safe color name, and just like every other code we worked with, you can change it to a hex color code or any color code that suits the style of your own unique website. Another request that I've seen from a lot of clients is to add a title to these add-ons. We can't do that using the editor, but we can with a little bit of custom CSS. We just added the text you might also like to show up above the product add-ons. This right here is where I changed the text. This is completely customizable. Just add whatever text you'd like to see between these quotation marks. After that, I told the computer to align the text to the center and give it a little bit of padding to the top. Now, everything else on this page is left aligned, so let's go ahead and remove text align center. It'll default to the left, but we're also going to want to add a little bit of space to the left here because this text will sit right against the edge. Let's go ahead and add a semicolon, and we'll say padding left 15px. That's going to scoot the text away from the edge of this container just a little bit, so it's still aligned to the left, but it's more in line with the style of the rest of the content on this particular product page. When it comes to customizing text, we can't use the editor to change the style of the title or the price here for these product add-ons, but you probably guessed what I'm about to say. We can do it with code. These two snippets of code right here will adjust the add-on title as well as the add-on price. I adjusted the font size for the title to make that stand out a little bit more, and then I adjusted the color for the product price. However, that color seems a little bit light, so let's go ahead and darken that with a slightly different hex color code. Perfect. That looks a lot better. 
We've customized a lot about these product add-ons in this tutorial, but there's one final code I want to share with you. Watch my cursor on the screen here. Do you see how my cursor changes when I hover over the image or the title of this product add-on? Clicking on either of these options will take me to the product page for that specific add-on. And some of my clients don't want that feature. They want people to click this plus sign and have that be the only way they interact with this product add-on. If that sounds good to you, you're going to like this code right here. This tells the computer browser to not register any pointer events or cursor clicks for that add-on thumbnail link or the title details. The button at the end is still going to add this to my cart, but I can no longer click on the image or the title. Again, this last code, totally optional, a personal choice. Some people prefer to leave the option for folks to navigate directly to the add-on product by clicking on the image or title. But if you only want people to add that to their cart and not navigate to more details, this right here is the code that'll do it for you. And again, all of these codes will be listed underneath the video with labels just like this so you can add them to your custom CSS. I'll go ahead and select save and let's check out the mobile view for this product page because I'd love to show you how all of our changes are showing up on mobile as well, creating a cohesive design that looks the same across all devices. Underneath this video is a link to my original blog post where I have all of the codes that we just used in this tutorial so you can copy and paste them into your own Squarespace website and customize them to make them uniquely yours. I'm Becca from Inside the Square and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And if there's something you'd like to customize about Squarespace, let me know in the comments. I'd love to help. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.